What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina and I'm down here in our shop and I'm doing a little bit of gear repair today. I've got several different issues. One, my spider strap here on my full face mask is actually broke so I gotta replace that. Um, and I've also got to do a little bit of regulator repair for my main rig. Um, and if you can kind of tell here, it is just absolutely filthy. I got to do a complete overhaul. Um, and the reason this thing is so nasty is we actually went out and did a little bit of commercial diving today. And I want to show you some footage from that. Unfortunately, I can't tell you where we were at. The corporation that actually hired us to do the diving, they did not allow us to really film much above the water. It's kind of a private area and they didn't want that on film. But I do want to show you what we did under the water. And I'll give you a quick background. Basically, it's a private 14 acre lake that a business uses for fire protection. And so instead of having fire hydrants all the way around their business, they have a 14 acre lake that feeds into their fire sprinkler system of their building. And so that's what they use for fire protection. Well, several years ago, we actually went in and drained the lake for them and maintained it at a certain level so that they could rebuild the dam of this lake. And we had to do that. It took about three to six months total uh, to complete it that we had to maintain this water level. Well, now what we do a few times a year for them is we actually go down to the dam itself, we go down to the drain system, and we swim up into the water intake systems, and we check for debris and everything else. So that's what you're going to see in this footage. You're going to see us go down, check a pipe system that's around the 23-foot mark, uh, and swim around it. We're looking for debris and everything else. And then you'll actually see us swim up into the water intake system, um, and check for debris and trash and everything else up in there. And we just do an overall inspection for this company. So we go down, we check depths, we check silt levels, we check for debris and all that. And then of course we document it as well and then turn that information over to them. But guys, watch the video real quick and then I'll kind of give you some final thoughts there at the end. It's 23 foot deep. Looks just like my hand when we get down there. It's shut, but don't reach through. We're going to hold on to the grate, make about two or three circles out, just to make sure there's no heavy debris, any real heavy debris. Push it out of the way, we'll put a bag on it, lift it, any small debris, just grab onto it and bring it up. Small debris meaning trees, limbs, stuff like that. Got it? Good? Use your light, just follow this pop system all the way down. This is out here.
Reach up here and grab my hand. Thank <laughs> you. 
Air may not be good, so breathe off your tank, not your SAV, okay? Breathe off your tank, not off the surface air. Leave, leave this closed. Alright. We're going to drop down this pipe and see how small it is in here, right? We're going to drop down, we've got to get a depth. At the bottom of the pipe, there's a grate covering it. This is pretty mess. There's no suction on it, so we should be good there. But I want you to feel around on the bottom for leaves, sticks, and stuff like that. When I tee when I tee up and say turn around, turn around, keep one hand here, one hand here, and work your way all the way back out. Got it?
bearings are in circle. Directly under it, it's, it's clean. There's nothing directly under it, but about five feet back towards us, it's built in probably two inches. No, probably two inches of leaves and mud, but no sticks, no big heavy debris. Other than that, he got it on his computer. Eight, nine feet. All right, so the, the, the prop itself, there's probably seven to eight feet of it underwater. So good there. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Just uh, make your way back over. We're going to go over and shut that off and see if it's sucked in and sealed in. We've got to put these back first. Okay. So guys, there you go. As you can see, it's not much visibility down there. It's almost pitch black at times, but it's relatively an easy job to do, so to speak. However, there's a lot involved in it. The equipment that we were wearing, myself and the other diver, we had full face masks with comm units so we could talk back and forth and coordinate exactly what we were gonna do. And if you're wanting to get into work like this, by all means, I need to tell you up front, go get you some commercialized diver training. Don't just attempt to go out and do something like this. It's way too dangerous to do that and of course when we were swimming into the intakes we did have a surface personnel there for us to make sure that the lockout on the pumps never got turned back on so it was complete safety for us as well and this is something that we've been doing several years in a row for this company so it's something we're used to but if it's something you're interested in make sure you get proper training for it now what type of recreational training can you get of course night diver training would be good uh, you can get some type of navigation or search and recovery training that'd be good as well and if you're into, say, the public service, like we do a lot of public safety diving, a lot of that comes into play here as far as our communication skills and how we work underwater, not being able to see gauges and all that. So a lot of that comes in as well. But once again, make sure you're getting the right training. Even if it's commercialized training, go out and get the right training to be able to do stuff like this. But guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button for me. If you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below as well. But guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us, and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.